Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shout Dogs to Born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to this Theme Park News room update where today we have some massive construction news from Europa Park in Roost, Germany. Now this is for their brand new edition for 2021. Uh, it's going to be taking place in the Water Park, their 2019 opened Water Park Rulantica. And uh, this is going to be a brand new complex with some brand new slides. Uh, there's another little area that we're going to talk about in more detail as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to share with you a few pictures officially from the park. So credit to this image goes to Europa Park themselves. And uh, yeah, some slide pieces have appeared on site for their brand new 2021 edition. Now this is a whole massive new slide complex uh, with nine intertwining slides. And yeah, basically there's another little thing as well which we'll talk about too. But the whole, the main thing of 2021 for the Rulantica Water Park is this brand new complex. So before we get started guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts and theories down below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to all my other social medias as well. Uh, links to Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, they're all in the description down below. I want to get good on Twitter now. I want to get good on Twitter. <laughs> We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 followers on Instagram as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we've only got past the hundred. Only just got past the hundred mark on Twitter. So uh, yeah, I would like to improve that. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not too sure what it is on Snapchat though. It's something like 400 maybe. I'm not too sure. And um, yeah, before we get started, guys, just do all of that and uh, let's get into this video and talk about in a bit more detail using a European news source that's reported on the construction piece arriving on site from this brand new cons complex opening at Rolantica Water Park inside Europa Park for the 2021 season. So according to Parker Lebnis, which is a European theme park news source, massive shout out for the information from them, the Europa Park Water World Rulantica will be expanded with the new outdoor area Svalgarok, which will offer nine slides, and the first parts of it have now arrived on the construction site. Apart from the outdoor pool Frigg Tempel and the Whitewater Canal Vidstrom, the Europa Park uh, Water Park Rulantica has so far offered few outdoor experiences. That will change in 2021 when Germany's largest open air water playground, Svalgarok, opens. It will bring nine new slides to Rolantica, and pictures from the construction site now give a first foretaste. Now, the new Rolantica slides for 2021 come from the renowned manufacturer ProSlide, which was also responsible for the major attractions when Rolantica first opened back in 2019. Now, while there are several slides on tyres inside Rolantica, the new attractions of Svalgarok are pure body slides, but some of them should not be less spectacular. In addition to conventional tube or wave slides, the outdoor area should also offer a so-called cannon bowl, where people slide through a large bowl, and the attraction will hide between, between, behind a giant octopus, which would be very, very nice there. The new slides from Rulantica 2021 will be up to 51 metres long. The outdoor area is thematically linked to the story of the Svalga Sea Snake, which can already be found prominently in the Kronosar Museum Hotel. That was there. Uh, other addition uh, along with the water park that had the entrance connecting to the water park so the Kronosar Museum Hotel has this predominantly found Svalgor sea snake and that will become a more predominant feature as part of the outdoor area uh, theme and the new theme of this Svalgorok area so in addition to Svalgorok the Rulantica outdoor area will also offer a novelty for the younger visitors in 2021. The children's play area Snorri Strand will take visitors into the world of the six-armed Rulantica mascot. There will also be something new in 2020 in Rulantica. From autumn, visitors can look forward to a new relaxation and wellness area called Higadal, including a sauna. So there we go then, as well as the younger area, uh, the area for the younger visitors themed to the Snorri kind of character. Um, and of course the new Higadal uh, with the sauna, it's like a relaxation type area for 2020. Uh, that's a little bit more information on the main stuff for next year in 2021, which will be involved in the Rolantica theme park. And, you know, I think, I think first of all, before anything else, this is a very good addition to the park. I think that it's good to keep expanding your new stuff. I um, mean, you look at family areas inside theme parks, the fact they keep expanding year upon year. Uh, you don't want to over-expand them, so it takes over investing in the rest of the park. But, 
you know, I think that it's good to invest in, you know, your new things and keep expanding them as far as you can go. And Rulantica was one of the big new non-coaster additions for the European theme parks in 2019. And I think that Rulantica definitely was one of the bigger additions in Europe overall uh, in that year. And the fact they're already expanding it next year, well, well they've, they've already expanded it this year. You know, they're bringing in this new relaxation area and well-being area for 2020 in the autumn. And uh, and now in 2021, they're bringing in this brand new Svalgarok complex with nine slides. Like I said, all manufactured by ProSlide. They're not going to be like the most exciting attractions at Rulantica, but they are going to be like a, a decent family thrill water slides. I think that's the kind of level we're looking at here. Uh, the Cannonball sounds very interesting, thematized with the giant octopus i was kind of hoping that that might be themed to snorri and have a snorri themed slide uh and you go through into the snorri th like themed octopus structure as the bowl so um whether that bowl element is indoors or the octopus theming is just like a like a half indoor outdoor cover tent kind of structure or something uh, it will be interesting, or, or unless the bowl will just be themed to the octopus, and you have the tentacles sticking out and everything, and you know, in terms of the like the the ceiling of it will be no ceiling, and it'll be outdoors. Uh, obviously, we don't know at this stage, but um, as you saw from a few of their construction photos from the park, construction has really picked up the pace in bringing these first parts on site. Uh, the groundwork was already done for this, so um, you know, we were waiting and waiting to see when the parts were going to arrive on site, and of course now. They are here, and um, you know, like I said, Pro Slide, you know, manufactured the major attractions in the main Rulantica water park back in 2019 when that first opened. And you know, even though this won't be as thrilling as some of the more extreme slides in the Rulantica complex, this will still definitely be like a family thrill target market. So, this whole Svalgarok area is definitely going to be one to watch for next year, especially for non coaster editions. Um, and, you know, I think this, like I said, this is a very smart investment by Europa Park because I think it's very, very clear now that the in a couple of years' time, in about th maybe three, four years down the line, we could be expecting Europa Park's next roller coaster. And, you know, there's rumours of it being either a Big Dipper or an extra spinning coaster located on the old Traumatica site as part of a brand new area. The Halloween event's going to be moved to a different area of the park. And uh, the old Traumatica, where Traumatica is now, that is scheduled to be the location, apparently, for this next major roller coaster project. So, uh, obviously, that's going to be exciting to follow itself. But, you know, I think until then, you've got to keep investing in your parks any way you can. And I think the Europa Parks definitely... Pro the for 2021, in terms of the main part, the theme park side of it, they'll probably do some night events and stuff like that, maybe some parades to help get the crowds back in after COVID. And... You know, as well as that, in the water park, that's where the main investment's going to be next year for Europa Park, Rulantica. And uh, like I say, it's a very smart investment. So there won't be much high-level investment in the theme park over the next couple of years as they save up ready for this next coaster in a few years' time. I think most of the investment will go into Rulantica, but there will be some little improvements here and there inside the theme park. So very good move by Europa Park to go for this and uh, yeah very very impressed very very well done to Europa Park and the construction looks brilliant so far so there we go that is this news update looking at the first parts arriving on site for the new water slides at Rulantica for 2021 and speaking a little bit about what's coming in autumn this year to the water park and also about another little kids area that's going to be added along with this whole complex in 2021 into the water park so massive story from Europa Park there Thank you very much, guys. My name is Coach Chow. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, keep living the coastal life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.